Welcome to another week of Castanet's V's View. I'm Colton Davies, and with me this week is the V's starting netminder, number 45, Jack Lafontaine. He's a 20-year-old first-year player with the V's after spending the last two years at the NCAA ranks. And uh, let's just get started a little bit with your background here, um, personally and in hockey, Jack. I know you're from Mississauga, Ontario. Tell me what it's like uh, growing up there in the, the suburb of, of Toronto and playing your, your minor hockey there, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I had a great childhood, I mean, like most kids, but Mississauga is kind of a hockey hotbed, if you will. Um, grew up with a lot of good hockey players in the neighborhood, uh, you know, the McLeod family, the Strom family, uh, to name a few. But, I mean, hockey was uh, almost like a religion there. Like, even in the summertime, you know, we were always playing outdoors, um, still do it today. So, um, I mean, it's, it's in my blood and it's in all of our blood. And, you know, I think two of the Stroms now are in the NHL and then one McLeod's on his way. So it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know Mississauga. When I hear that, I think of hockey for sure. Is everyone Leafs fans out that way, I suppose, if it's a suburb of Toronto? Yeah, I mean, personally, I'm a Red Wings fan. So I'm, uh, I'm not well liked uh, or welcomed in the ACC for that matter. Um, but yeah, no, everyone's uh, huge Leaf fans. and. No, they're doing well actually this year. So they are. Yeah. They are. They got a lot to be happy about. Um, being a, a, a Red Wings fan, uh, I know you spent the last two years before this season at the, the University of Michigan. Um, so just tell me, maybe uh, now being in the BCHL as a 20-year-old for one season here, what's that transition been like? Because uh, you know, of, of course, I know you're you'll be going back there uh, next season, but. Not a lot of guys who join the V's or the BCHL come with experience already at the NCAA level. Yeah, I mean, that transition, uh, it was different for me. I, I think my whole hockey career, I've always had to speed up my game in order to transition to the next level. Here it's a little bit different where I kind of have to slow down everything a little bit just so I can you know, get the timing down and whatnot. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, on like a social aspect, uh, you know, the coaching staff, uh, the Billet family, um, all the all my teammates they've been they've been great. I mean the transition phase on a personal note has been amazing um, And just as an organization it just really shows you know how much Penticton cares about their players And uh, I know you're from out east and you told me uh, this is the first time you've been this far west I guess in North America So what's your perception of the Penticton area the fans here and all the all that stuff? The fans love their hockey, and I like the boys love that. Um, you know, it's a real treat to play at home. Like the boys get jacked up. Uh, me personally, I love it. Um, I mean, I, I can't really tell you any other place, not only in Canada but in North America, where you know we get this many fans and on a consistent basis, and they're just so enthusiastic and so into it, and it's awesome. So, what are you hoping to accomplish this season? Uh, I guess is it BCHL championship? I mean, I know you. You were at University of Michigan, and like I said, you're going back there next year. So, so what are you hoping that, that this year plays out? Uh, I know we're about 10 games in the season, but what's, what's the end game here for you in the BCHL? I, I mean, it's the same as everyone on our team, and it's the same as everyone in the league. I mean, that's to get to a championship and, um, you know, make a run eventually at the RBC Cup. Um, you know, obviously, that's the bigger picture we're looking at. Um, but saying that right now, I mean, we're just taking it day by day. Um, you know, I think we're learning slowly um, how to play as a hockey team for 60 minutes and stretch that out to a full weekend. And for us, um, you know, taking it day by day is that's all that all needs to you know add up eventually. And you know, come playoff time, it, it's a different beast. So we got a lot to look forward to, a lot of challenges ahead. But I think with this group, you know, I'm pretty confident we get the job done. And, and you being in your position as a 20-year-old with uh, this experience at the higher level, I know you in the crease you don't wear a letter on your jersey, but how does all that translate into a leadership role for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, automatically as the oldest guy on the team, you kind of fall into a leadership role. Um, and, you know, that's obviously not being the most vocal or, you know, telling defensemen or forwards what to do necessarily, but I think it's, you know, leading by example, um, whether that's on the ice, off the ice. Um, in the weight room, um, you know, being away from the rink. Um, it's kind of that stuff. And it's understanding that, you know, these kids, they're 16, 17 years old, and they're still learning too. And, you know, they need, uh, you know, good role models and how to act as professionals on that matter. And, you know, I think as 20-year-olds, you know, or even 19-year-olds, it's kind of our duty to, you know, be mature enough where we show them the ropes. 
And, uh, you know, this weekend you visit West Kelowna on Friday and then you have uh, Chilliwack in your building Saturday, who as of today is uh, the number one team in the BCHL in terms of standing. So how are you guys feeling heading into this weekend of action here, Jack? I mean, we feel good. Uh, we had a good day of practice today, really good workout yesterday. And, you know, like I said, we're taking it day by day. Um, we're focusing on tomorrow's practice and tomorrow's lift. Um, you know, I was really happy with our practices and our performance last week, you know, taking five out of the six points. Um, and, you know, those teams are good. Like, kudos to them. They're having a great season, both of those teams. But, you know, uh, we're confident right now. We feel good. And it's kind of scary to think and I think a lot of guys can attest to this that we haven't even hit our stride as a team. So, I mean, we're still going to be, you know, improving throughout the season. So I think that's pretty scary to think about. But, I mean, yeah, these games are important, but, you know, we're just focusing on uh, what's ahead of us. And right now, that's practice. This is Jack LaFontaine, the starting goalie on the Penticton V's, number 45. You can see him and the V's next on Friday night. Uh, when they visit the West Cologne Warriors. They're back here at the SOEC on Saturday night, as we mentioned, to play the Chilliwack Chiefs.